Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. As we were broadcasting this video live on YouTube, uh, I was reading the chat box as the comments were flying by, and Brandon Neo asked a question, what do you think of Microsoft on how they're taking Metro onto PCs and the Xbox? I would love to know how Metro would work with a keyboard and a mouse. Oh, and my name is pronounced Brandini. All the way, I think, from the, the UK. And thank you for asking this question. The first time I saw the Metro interface, I, I liked it. I fell in love with it. You might remember the Facebook app that I talked about. It's in a video. It's, it was well over a year ago. And they used Metro uh, on Silverlight, which allowed me to access Facebook uh, through a completely different interface than Facebook.com. And it was fun. So now they're bringing it, of course, to Xbox and with Windows 8. Uh, Metro wasn't... Designed with a keyboard and a mouse in mind. In fact, it's a little frustrating unless you can use touch and then Metro flies. I think though that Metro works just as well with uh, the uh, the Xbox, even though Xbox isn't uh, touch. Uh, it's a simplified interface, uh, and you really have to think about uh, what you're doing, and the interface makes it simple for you to get to where you want to be. So I mentioned this in a, a live video the other day. There's a new universal app. Uh, from Microsoft Xbox Live, and I'm logging in here. I got to be careful because I don't want you, I, I don't want to share my username because every time I do, uh, everybody and their grandmother adds me as a friend, and I, I just can't do that. And so now they've effectively brought the uh, Metro experience to iOS. So if you always wanted to know what the uh, uh, what Metro might look like on iOS, they've got this free application. It's a universal application, by the way. And with this, I can see uh, all my friends' statuses. The games they played, I don't want to zoom in close because, uh, again, I don't want to violate anybody's privacy. And uh, this is kind of fun. And, and I hope that based on this, uh, more, more people at Microsoft will develop apps for not just iOS, but Android as well. Now think about that. They got Windows Phone 7 that they're going you know, to start you know, really doing better than they had done in years past. Uh, and you'd think that they'd be concentrating their firepower on that. But... Like, I, when I reviewed the Bing app, I said it's one of the best news applications for the iPad ever. Uh, they just released yesterday or the day before OneNote for the iPad, even though they had OneNote available for the iPhone. Now they have a native binary. Let me see if I've got that one installed on here yet. Uh, I know I downloaded it from uh, the App Store, but I haven't done any syncing uh, since, doing, uh, since doing that yesterday. And they just released Connectimals for uh, the iPad as well. I think that one uh, isn't free. The other ones uh, are. But Microsoft is releasing more and more applications for iOS. And the thing is, Metro works really well, as I said, with that touch experience. And I think the, the Xbox Live application, I think it's called My Xbox Live, uh, on, on the iPhone and the iPad works exceedingly well, honestly. I So... If you have a touch experience and you have a chance to use Metro, I think you will be very, very happy. But using Metro with a, a keyboard and mouse, I think it's a little frustrating. Either way, good on Microsoft for embracing alternative platforms and getting their software out there. After all, I mean, isn't that, you know, part of the company software? Who cares where they sell it? Or, you know, give it out for free. <laughs>